key recipient cows in the reproductive technique of embryo transfer. The reproductive technique of embryo transfer is currently widely used by many livestock producers with the vision of quickly carrying out bovine genetic improvement. This reproductive technique is widely used because it has selected parents, both in the cow and in the bull. When the transfer and production of embryos is carried out, what is intended is to select the most outstanding of the bull, with which the oocytes are to be fertilized. Another advantage that this technique provides is the selection of donors, that is, you can choose the cows, from which the eggs to be fertilized will be obtained. The great advantage of this reproductive technique is that for the livestock producer it reduces the number of generations that are needed to be able to observe the genetic improvement, and that is a key advantage. The first thing that should be checked in this technique is that the maturation is good, since the ovules expand cells around, and it is verified that they are adequate and during fertilization, the embryonic culture lasts seven days, the seventh day when the embryos will be delivered, a new review is carried out due to quality issues. These specific protocols are measured by an international embryo transfer entity, in which the embryonic button that is desired to become the placenta of the embryo must be reviewed, and this it is carried out between day 6 and 7 of the culture, in order to establish the quality of the embryo. The types of embryos. The embryo can be delivered cryopreserved or fresh, when it is cryopreserved it can be in two ways. One is slow freezing to carry out the direct transfer, and the other is the vitrification of the embryos. This decision is defined by what the livestock producer requires. What is true is that these three processes are very efficient. When fresh embryos are used, the group of recipient cows must be synchronized. In direct transfer the protocol for thawing in the field must be followed, and the devitrification process is more complex since the presence of embryos is required. A field technician, to execute the process properly. For the livestock producer to select an excellent donor cow, he must take into account that it is a cow of high genetic value, since this must be the main purpose of selecting this donor cow. This donor cow must be a cow that will improve genetically to the average of the herd but it must also have other sanitary, reproductive, and physiological parameters. Something that must not be forgotten is that the recipient cow is the cow that provides the womb to contain the embryo of high genetic value. This recipient cow plays a vital role in this reproductive technique, since it is the one that will be in charge of carrying out the gestation process and delivery. The recipient cow must be 100% free of anatomical, physiological, and reproductive problems, especially at the level of the reproductive tract and in its general system. Something vital is that the recipient must cycle normally, the pelvic cavity must be analyzed, so that at the time of delivery there are no difficulties or inconveniences. The recipient cow must have good maternal ability, since it must produce a quantity suitable milk, to be able to raise the calf of high genetic value. Follicular aspiration is performed on the donor cow, with the help of ultrasound equipment, a transvaginal guide, and a vacuum pump. To end the synchrony between the recipient cow and the donor cow, it is very important, especially at the time of ovulation and embryonic development and the uterine. Microenvironment of the recipient female